because we have a really low uh, overall mean error. So this is actually like really good camera calibration result and we can use that in our in our own applications and projects uh, later on. Hey guys and welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial. So in this video here we're going to do camera calibration in MATLAB. So in the previous videos where we have done camera calibration both for like a monocular camera but also for a stereo vision camera setup. Uh, we have done it in Python and also in C++ where we just have this Python script here where we're loading in our images and then we will just run the Python script, calibrate our cameras and we'll get out the camera matrices and also just distortion parameters that we can then use later on. But in this video here, I'm going to show you how we can do it in MATLAB, how we can open up MATLAB and, and use some of the toolboxes to actually like calibrate our cameras. We can even like capture the images in MATLAB. We can load in our own images and then we can both do camera calibration with monocolor cameras and also stereo vision setups. And we can also get a lot of other different kind of information and different kind of like cool metrics and images that we can look on. But first of all, when we've done this code server, I'll link to it down in the description here. You can come to the channel, chat out about computer vision, artificial intelligence, deep learning, and so on. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small monthly fee and everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So here we're just going to jump straight into MATLAB. So I'm going to show you like what we're actually going to do. So first of all, here we need to install some different kind of apps. So I'm just going to enter the app tab and we both need like uh, the division toolbox. So like the computer vision toolbox, we need the image processing and computer vision toolbox. And then we also need a webcam toolbox that we can just go in here, download. So we can go just go into get more apps, search for these uh, toolboxes here. I'll link to it down in the description, download the toolboxes and you can just use them uh, as I'm going to do here in the video. So when you have installed the computer vision, uh, computer vision toolbox here from MATLAB, you will get this tab up here. As you can see the camera cal calibrator, we can also see we have a stereo camera calibrator here um, as well as I'm also going to show it um, in another video. So here we're going to have this camera calibrator that we can just tap. It will open up this application or like this app here that we've installed in MATLAB. We have some different kind of options. Like we can open up a session or we can start a new session uh, that we have worked on previously. But this video here, we're just going to do it from scratch. We're going to go up to this tab, add some images or even capture our own images uh, with the webcam. When we have actually like imported or like loaded in our images or captured them, we can just hit calibrate. It will calibrate the images. We'll just get all the parameters that we need when we're calibrating our cameras. And we'll also get a lot of other different kind of um, information that we can take a look on and also like the metrics of how good our camera calibration actually is. So it's really useful if you're new to doing like camera calibration or like computer vision and you want a lot of different kind of like details. And it is also really easy to just calibrate your cameras. You just load in your images, calibrate, you get your images and you can undistort them and use them in your own applications. So here we're just going to add images. We can either take here from a file. If you already have the images captured with your camera, you can just load them in here from, uh, from a file. Or as in this video, we're just going to load them in from the webcam. And then we're going to store those images and load them in for a uh, from a file uh, later on. So you can also see how that works. But here we're going to choose from the webcam here. So we can see here that MATLAB support package for webcam has not been installed. I've already installed it. So I don't know why it gives, it, it gives me this error, but you need to install that as well. I'll link to all of it in the description and it will open up this uh, webcam capture here where we can actually like uh, set up the capture interval up here. So uh, like how frequent are we going to take the images so we can actually like move our chessboard around in the image. And we can also set the number of images that we actually like want to capture uh, because MATLAB actually like goes in and sort those images that we're taking if they're not good enough. If we cannot detect like all the corners um, in our chessboard and they're not good enough, they will just discard those images and just only calibrate uh, your camera on the good images. So this is also really good uh, by using MATLAB compared to, for, for example, Python and C++. So here we're going to set a capture interval for three seconds and we're going to capture uh, 10 images. So I'm just going to take up the chessboard here as we have used in the previous video as well. So we're going to use this one and then we can just hit capture and it will do all of the things for us here. Here it has captured the first image. We're moving the chessboard here around in, in the image frame. So we get different kind of angles and also different kind of like tilt angles. So now we have three images. We're still just moving it around. So 
So now we have all the 10 images here that we have now captured. We can go up here and actually like set the size of our chessboard as well. So in this video, I'm using uh, 20 millimeters here in between the different kind of like fills in our chessboard. We can also set like the unit over here if you're using centimeters uh, in this video here and in the previous videos, we have used millimeters. So about 20 millimeters here between each of the fills in our chessboard. We can also, if we have like, for example, a fisheye lens that we want to uh, calibrate in this example here, we can actually choose here that we have high image distortion and it then takes that into account while it's calibrating our camera. In this example, we just have a low image distortion here. So we're going to choose that. So these are just image properties that we're going to set. So I'll just hit okay now. So now it actually have everything. We see that it is now detecting the, the, the chessboard uh, in the different kind of images. We can see that the total processed images here is 10 and we can see it added eight images and re it rejected two images. Then we can actually like go down and see like the images that it, it, it discarded. So we can see it discard these two images here. It might not be able to detect like the chessboard corners to the left here in the image. And over here to the right, we have a lot of like wide, uh, wide reflection here from uh, my monitor. So it was not able to detect all the chessboard corners in these two images. So we'll just reject those and it will just use the other eight images to actually like calibrate our camera. So now we just hit okay here. It loads in all the images. We can even go up here and see the images. But now we have loaded in our images and we can now just hit cap, like go up here and close the image capture. So when we have actually like closed our image capture, we get all of our like images over here to the left with all the corners that we detected. So if you just take the images here individually, we can see that it detects all the corners here in the chessboard. So these are the eight images that it accepted. So now it has loaded in the images, detected the chessboard corners, and we can now just go up here and hit calibrate. We can even, if we have a, 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 another like camera model up here, for example, if we had a face eye lens, we could choose that together with the high distortion parameter in the camera settings that we just chose. So now we're just going to choose standard and we can just hit calibrate and it will do everything for us. So now it calibrates the, all the images here, it just goes through them. And then we get some other different kind of like, for example, matrix over here to the right. And we also get some, some camera views over here of the different kind of planes that we're actually like calibrating our cameras on. So this is actually like really nice view and a really nice like figure uh, that we can see. I'll just drag this up here a bit. So this is a really nice figure so we can actually like see the planes and even like uh, the rotation and like the tilting of our planes that we're calibrating our cameras with. We can also see our re reprojection error. So how good are we actually like be being able to reproject our uh, like points out to the image space again, like from the image space to the world coordinate frame again uh, by using our camera calibration here. And we can see that we actually get an overall mean error here of 0.14 uh, pixels. So this is actually a really good uh, calibration because we have this um, this low number here. We can also see that it's a bit higher for, the, for, uh, for like the third and the fourth image. So maybe if we go in here and see like what could cause this like a, a bit higher uh, or mean error like mean error here on our images we can go in and see if it that if that actually like makes makes sense or if, if it even like makes a, like a difference and it does not really in this example here because we have a really low uh, overall mean error so this is actually like really good camera calibration result and we can use that in our in our own applications and projects uh, later on but like compared to C++ and Python, we get these really nice like metrics of how good our camera calibration is. And we can even go in here later on and see like how good does it perform? Are there some images that is bad? Do we need to take some of the images um, and, and do it over again? And we also get this pattern centric here where we can see we have this plane. And then we just, instead of we have uh, all the different kind of planes with our chessboard, we're just projecting out our camera. So this will be like corresponding to our cameras uh, camera or like different cameras looking at this plane here in, in the image space. So it's really nice. We can like even play around with it here. We can get the different kind of planes. So this is actually like a camera. How does our camera see the different kind of planes that we're detecting? We can hit a plane and we will get the corresponding image over here um, in the middle. So it's really nice. It's really cool. And now when we have calibrated our camera, we can go up here and show even like undistorted. So like how would it look if we undistorted? Um, so we just show the images here um, show undistorted and we can even see like how the images will look like when we want to them and when we use them in our own application. But the most important thing here is that we can actually export our camera parameters. So if we hit this tab, we can even, uh, we can, we can either like export our camera parameters to the workspace. If we're actually like going to work, 
um, work with our images or like our, our images in MATLAB, but we can also export them to the workspace and then uh, use our workspace to actually like convert those to a file that we can then later on load into, for example, Python or C++. So if you only want to use like um, MATLAB to do your camera calibration, export those parameters to a file, like for example, an XML file, you can do that. And then later on in your application, when you're writing your code with, for example, OpenCV in Python or C++, you can just go in, load those parameters from the XML file, and then use that as we've done in all the other videos for your OpenCV applications in both Python and C++. So it's actually like really cool. We can also generate a MATLAB script. So we're going to do that in this example, and it will just act like it will just generate the MATLAB script. We can run the MATLAB script and then it will store the parameters in the workspace as if we hit this export parameters to workspace. So if we just generate a MATLAB script here, we can see here we have these image file names. So we have all the images that we're going to load in. Then we're going to detect the check, uh, like the checkerboard or like the corners of our chessboard. So we will just do all the processes that we just uh, did and also the processes that we do in, for example, Python with OpenCV. So we can see here that it is also kind of the same function. So we detect the chessboard corners, we generate chessboard, uh, like the points in our chessboard and stuff, so on. So we actually like have our image points and our object points. And then we just have this estimate camera parameters as we do when we calibrate our camera in OpenCV. And we just return the camera parameters, the images used, and also the estimation errors for our calibration. We also get our uh, rotation and our translation matrices over here um, out. We can even see an undistorted image. And we will also have these figures here with our reprojection errors and our extrinsic parameters. So the planes that we're seeing from our camera. So if we just run this uh, MATLAB script here, I'll just comment this one out uh, here or like remove this semicolon so we can actually like see the camera parameters and so on. So now we're just going to hit run. We need to save the file first. So we're just going to cal calibration dot m because we have a MATLAB script and then we'll just run the MATLAB script and we'll get all the information down at the bottom. We will also get these two figures out as we did in, uh, in the application or like in the calibration app. Then we can go down here and actually like see all of these different kind of things that we're printing out. So we get all of these different kind of like camera intrinsic parameters, extrinsic parameters, like how, what is the dimensions of these different kind of things. And we also here at the bottom, we can get the focal length, the principal points in pixels. So all of these values here are in pixels. So we go both get the focal length of our camera. We get our radial distortion. So how much distortion do we actually like have um, in our image? We get our rotation vectors and we also get the translation vectors down here, uh, which we can see is in millimeters. So we could both get the intrinsic parameters and extrinsic, extrinsic parameters. And we also get actual like distortion parameters uh, so we can undistort new images that we load in and use in our own application. So now we actually just have this MATLAB script. We can just run it if we want to do it over again. And it will save all, everything over here to the right um, in our workspace. We will need to write our own code if we want to actually like export uh, export our actual like camera matrices and also distortion parameters to an XML file and then load that in XML file in as we have done in the previous videos in the in the Python scripts. So I'm going to do that in another video. So make sure to hit the subscribe button under the video here so you get a notification when I upload that video. We're also going to do it the exact same thing here with a stereo vision setup. So we're going to use the stereo vision camera that we've been using both in C++ um, and in Python. And then we're going to do the calibration part here in MATLAB instead of C++ and Python, just as we've done here with the monocolor camera. The process is almost the same, but we'll get some more different kind of information. And we're also going to see how, how, how cool it actually like looks like when we have these two cameras here, where we're reprojecting out the planes, we can see the, the rotation and the tilt of the planes that we're actually like calibrating our cameras on. So it's actually really, really nice and really cool. We get a lot of information that we can see. We can see how good it performs and stuff like that. So it's actually really good to use MATLAB, uh, MATLAB to actually calibrate uh, your cameras and then export those parameters into your own applications and then use it uh, there. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future uh, because it just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. So we're going through this computer vision tutorial here where we're talking about camera calibration, stereo vision, and so on. So if you want to learn more about those things and like the theory behind it, I'll link to the computer vision tutorial up here or else I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.